Hey Libras, Yana Speaks here, and in this video, I am doing your love reading for the month of October 2020. Now, I want to start off by letting you know that all of my readings are general, so they may or may not resonate with you because not every single Libra is going through the same exact thing, obviously. So if you find that this reading does not resonate, then it will be in your best interest to book a private reading with me. All the information to do so will be in the description below. And what's another thing I want to say? Um, oh yeah, so... I know I said last month I was going to upload at least one or two readings a day, and that definitely did not happen. Um, I just be really overwhelmed with readings, like they come in a lot. Um, so y'all just got to bear with me. Oh yeah, I also have a special going on where you can get a emergency one question reading for $7. No, it's for $9, I'm sorry. Um, and that reading will be delivered to you within 24 hours of your purchase. And then I also have an option where you can actually get a reading delivered to you as soon as an hour. Um, and then I have other readings as well, like phone readings, things like that. You know, where you can actually uh, talk to me for 30 minutes to an hour, whatever. All right. So let's get started. What is the overall option? What's the option? What is the overall energy? The Libras. What is the Libras overall energy this month in love? What is their overall energy? Okay, so we are starting off with the King of Wands. So some of you can be an entrepreneur. I know this is a love reading, but I just had to put that out there. Some of you can be an entrepreneur, okay? Um and then we do have the Three of Pentacles. Like I said, I know this is a love reading, but uh, somehow, some way, work is coming in. So it could be that maybe the person you're dealing with, you may actually work with them. Um, <clears throat> so maybe, like, some of you may not be an entrepreneur, but maybe you, like, work with this person. Maybe this person is, like, a co-worker. Um, or this could be like you guys like having conversations about like actually working together, maybe starting a business together. Um, if that's not the situation, it's just showing me that whoever this person is, you're very passionate about them. You know, it's this energy of like really going for them, like going after them. You know, it's this it's this energy of like, I want you and I'm going to have you and I'm going to do whatever it takes to have you so you know and as i was saying that i don't know why but i got um like miss parker vibes like you know the parkers cam parker her mother you know how like the mother was like really driven by getting professor ogilvy and it did not matter how many times he shut her ish down he was she was like no like i'm gonna have you and then it's funny because like when she like stopped and like she dated someone else, then he was like realizing like, hold up, I got more feeling for her than I thought. And then he started chasing after her. But I don't know why, but that's just what I got, you know? So whoever this person is like, like you want them and you want them bad, you know? Like there's no doubt about it. Like you're going for them, right? The Three of Pentacles, I feel like, this is you trying to like build with the person. So maybe this person ran a business idea past you and you're so into them like that. You're like, okay, yeah, we can go into business together. Yeah, we can. I'm seeing something about you guys like really trying to make it work with them, like really trying to build with them because you really are like for, for this person. Yeah, the Seven of Cups here. I feel like when I see the Seven of Cups and I see the King of Wands, like, and just what I'm feeling intuitively, like, I feel like you daydream about this person. Like, you're very, like, you're really into this person. I don't know how else to say it. Um, I feel like you could kind of be thinking of different ways, different options you have to, like, win this person over. And you could be kind of thinking that financially is a way to win them over. Just saying. Um... You could be thinking in your head like different ways that you can like impress them. Um, it's, it's like you looking at your options and trying to figure out like, well, hmm, maybe I can impress them with this or maybe I can 
get done with this, you know. Um, that's that's what I'm picking up. That's the vibe I'm getting. But it's interesting because I feel like money is involved. The Page of Pentacles is here again. This is a love reading, but money is... I mean, a lot of times love and money kind of go together. That, that's what I'm seeing. I really feel like a lot of you are starting some type of new financial opportunity with this person. And it looks like it's going to work out, though. It looks like there's it's going to make the relationship more balanced. It's going to make it more peaceful. Usually they say don't mix business with, with pleasure, but this seems to be the right thing to do. Um, I feel like you and this person come from different walks of life. Like you guys are very different. Maybe this person is of another race, another uh, background. Like maybe they was raised different from you. But it, it seems like it works. You know what I'm saying? Because three of pentacles and tempers is together. So it's like y'all are really working together in perfect harmony. And it's working. Because with justice being here, it's like things are balanced. Things are peaceful. You know, things are fair. Three of Cups. Okay, I want to clarify Three of Cups, though. Since Three of Cups can be a third party interference, why is Three of Cups here? Or oh, this could be... Maybe this person friend-zoned you. Maybe they don't look at you as someone that they want to be with just yet. Or maybe you guys are friends and you're trying to be more than just friends. That could be it, too. And maybe you're like wondering if this person likes you the way that you like them. Why is it their cups here? The Ace of Pentacles. There's something with money. Y'all making money with this person in some kind of way. I don't feel like there's a third party interference. I feel like the interference in some type of way is money. Could be someone like a job, some type of new financial opportunity that's an interference. Everything is fine. So maybe you could be feeling like this person, let me see. Maybe you could be fearful. Maybe this person is starting something new financially too. Maybe like they got like a new job or and maybe you're worried that like the job would interfere with how like reconnecting sorry about that yeah maybe you're afraid that like the job will interfere in some type of way but we have everything is fine i'm just telling you guys what i'm seeing i'm seeing some some interference with money you know your situation so you know how it resonates okay so i want to see how this person feels about you So how does this person feel about the Libras? How is this person feeling about the Libras? It's funny because you guys are really mirroring each other. Y'all making money somehow, some way together. We have the king of wands and the queen of wands. Right? With the six of pentacles. So, this person feels the same way you feel. Like, you and this person mirroring each other. You and this person are each other's counterparts. They're passionate about you too. You know, Another thing that could be making you guys really like into each other is the fact that you guys have like the same goals in mind. Like you both could want the same things financially. So that could be why you guys are going to business together or you may not be going into business together, but it could be that you both want to own a business and maybe you're bouncing off ideas and you're like, well, hey, this is a business I want to do. And they're like, yeah, this is a business I want to do. So it's like you guys both have that in common and it's exciting because it's like, Y'all yeah, both want the same things. That's what I'm seeing here. We have six of pentacles. I feel like, I feel like ultimately, if you guys are not going into business together, that's fine. 
um, because I'm seeing you both like coming together and having something really special where it's like, okay, so an example, like, let's say you own your own business. This person owns a business. I'm like seeing you guys like coming together and like having shared bills, like, like literally like living together and like paying bills together, like having both incomes combined. And then for some of you actually going into business with this person and there's money coming in. So not only is this a beautiful relationship, but it's also a beautiful business partnership as well. So it looks really good. Like we have a ton of cups here. So this person's feeling like really emotionally fulfilled by you. This person is looking at you as someone that they could be with long term. This person even is, is like even thinking about creating a family with you. So this looks really good. Then we have the Knight of Cups here. So there's definitely a level of deep emotions that they feel for you. A lot of a lot of love. Um, and I feel like this person is seducing you. And what makes it amazing is that you both not only connect emotionally, but you connect as far as your goals and like what you want. Okay. And then you have temperance. So this is about that peace and that balance, you know, coming together and, and just making it work in perfect harmony. So, you know, it just looks really good. I don't want to ruin it, but I'm trying to understand how money in this connection is a, uh, Third party interference. I'm still hung up on that one. I'm trying to understand that spirit. Why? Why did the three of cups pop out? Or it could be spirit saying that. Because remember when I told you about don't mix business with pleasure? Well, at least that's what they say. I mean, it, it could be spirit saying that everything is fine, like right now. But, like, if y'all mixing it too much with business and pleasure, it's kind of like if y'all get into an argument, it could affect the money. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, two people not getting along, are they really, like, going to want to make money together? I think Spirit is saying it for that reason. But let's see. Why did the Three of Cups pop out? The devil. You know, when I see the devil, they always say that money is the rule of all evil. So don't allow money to, to ruin your connection because I feel like you guys are about to make a lot of money together. Okay? Right. Look at this. We have the devil, the hangman, the king of pentacles. So, so whoever is the masculine energy in this connection, they may get a little big-headed. You know, because... Y'all gonna make a lot of money together. And Spirit is saying, like, just be, like, a, as a warning that money may change this person a little bit, you know? Um, and it may cause the relationship to become a little stagnant because this person is allowing money to make them be big-headed. So I feel like Spirit is just trying to warn you about that, okay? So um, I don't want to go any further because I don't want to ruin this reading. I want to end it here. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, share it with someone else, and I will see you guys in the next uh, reading. Bye, Libras.